Well, what better place to post up on this round ball roundup Friday than at Science Hill, where the toppers hosted the Double Tree Round Ball Showcase? I mean, it's got round ball right in the name. What more could you want? Let's go. Lights out at Science Hill. Boys, welcome aboard the Admirals from Farragut. The young man by the name of Parker Lane, he was hot in the early going for the visitors. Splashes a three here. He was almost as hot as this guy, Brady Lawson. First in slow transition, gets the feed and pulls up baseline. That jumper is going to fall. Then later, getting open on the wing, just needs a sliver of space and knocks the three down. He was unconscious in the first quarter. The toppers had a three-point lead. They keep it throughout and grab that elusive first win in the John Higgins era. 65-56. Volunteer trying to land a big win over Knox Webb tonight. They're within striking distance heading into the fourth and to start it off, Braden Minton. Goes hard to the hoop, hangs through the contact and scores. Falcons cut the lead to just five, but the Spartans, they're big, they're athletic, hard to keep off the glass. Initial shot missed, but Cam Swearingen collects and deposits. Nice spin underneath. Falcons showing off the defense with a steal here as Blake Head finds Andrew Knittel in transition, but too much web tonight. They pull away late, 60 to 41. Earlier in the evening, the Lady Toppers also on their home court, also tangling with Farragut. Science Hill was on it from the jump. Kaylee Ola gets the mid on the pass, charges ahead, takes a breakaway layup. Admirals need a timeout, but on the other side, it's still more science hill. Kiera Whitney inbounds, finds the far corner, waits. The ball comes to her. She cans the triple. Admirals hung around the whole game, though. Maya Johnston slashing to the hole, hoop and the harm. It got interesting late, but Science Hill goes on to win 51-43. And uh, the ladies of Elizabethan battling the undefeated and defending state champs Bearden today, giving them everything they could handle. Renna Lane running the floor for Betsy, blows by everyone, uses the left for a pair. She reached 500 career rebounds in this one. How about this move on the other end, though? Natalia Hahn in the post, a little rocker step creates a wide open look. She finished with a team high 20. Cyclones continuing to battle. Lane looking inside to Marley Mathena. Her teardrop flowing through the nylon beard and hangs on though for a 10th win of the season. 55 46 and across the way in the old topper palace earlier. Morristown East wise central getting after it. The Lady Canes have the ball early and the ball's working around the arc to Harmony Sullivan. That's sweet music. She buries the triple to start the scoring. Lady Warriors have a weapon though and Emma McAmis the driving and kick out to her in the far corner as she rattles home a three. She had two of them in the first. Later, a dish inside to a cutting McAmis, and she lays this one in nice and easy. Lady Warriors squeak out a 61 to 59 win. Elsewhere in the world of hoops, Alcoa girls, winners of four straight, looking to make it five, hosting Greenville tonight. Back and forth in the first half, Carly Hallworth. Dumps it off to Macy Ridge, who goes all the way back across the court to Hallworth for the corner three. It ties the game up at nine after a Greenville 6-0 run. The dynamic duo striking again a few possessions later. Ridge to Hallworth near corner. Alcoa holds Greenfield at just a single point for most of the fourth quarter as they go on to defeat the Lady Green Devils by 17. The Greenville boys, however, they go on the road to get the job done. Trey Thompson with 25 and a 58-50 win. Plus, South Green takes it over rival West Green tonight, 74-52. Another girls final from the double True round ball classic DB falling to Knox Webb by 11. The try back at it tomorrow against Wise Central. The Hampton ladies moved to 5-0 on the year with a solid win over Unica.